Hey there guys, um, this is part two now of my PC builds. Um, this is going to be motherboard installation and case wiring. Uh, the wiring is a bit boring, but there's not too many of them, there's only seven or eight. Um, yeah, I gave it a, uh, an update in the description in part one that I was being given an old PC and a monitor, which is absolutely great. But the old PC, I was going to use the case from the old PC for this uh, PC, but it's beige. And I uh, I really don't like beige cases. So I just got this one instead. It's a CIT 2011. Um, 20 quid off eBay. And it came with a 450 watt PSU, which is um, pretty nice. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm skimping out on everything people spend up to a hundred pound on the power supply but it's not going to be doing any heavy duty stuff it's gonna, just going to be doing basic windows tasks and um, it's a budget PC build and I want to go spend a ridiculous amount of money on a power supply yep let's get started then here's the motherboard let's just drop it in there in there and oh, let's just screw it in. It really is unbelievably easy to build one of these. Even for someone with limited knowledge, as long as you know how to turn a screwdriver, it's um really not hard because even most of the um where the wires are meant to go, this almost all of it is labelled on the motherboard anyway, so it's so simple. This one there, so. Just on a completely unrelated note, my PowerBook G4 died yesterday. <coughs> I've only had it for about a month and a half, and it's already gone. And um, it was a hard drive, hard drive's gone. And uh, I think there was the, the very common issue with the bars across the screen. Um, the graphics card and the hard drive. I tried to install Jaguar, but it can't find the hard drive, and the screen is almost completely useless anyway because uh, it's all like split in thirds. Completely unusable. I put it on eBay to um, get rid of it, to be honest. Back to square one. Slightly annoying because I paid however much for it in December and now it's already gone. Anyway, the motherboard's in. The IO is all cool by there. Um, have I shown you the IO? Yeah, I must have in the motherboard installation. It's just PS2, serial, VGA, USB, Ethernet, audio. And, uh, simple as that. Right then. Shall we do the wiring? I put some wires so I don't need I don't need this around the back. It's just um three Molex cables. I only need one and that's for the case side fan which is here. Eighty mil case fan. Um with an air duct. It's pretty cheap, but okay, budget is cheap. I'm gonna put it up this way, I think. But I'm gonna bring you down here. If I can. and the hard drive to the power supply. That can go out the way for the time being. Um, 
I'm just going to put the two main ones in at the moment, which is two power connectors, power cables, I don't know what you call them. Simple as that, that one goes in there, and that one goes in the top um, one of the little four, the four holes. I don't know the tactical, tactical names for any of these, to be honest, guys. I just plug and play. Um, audio and USB at the front. Now this is this is just so simple, guys. Anybody can do it. I don't have an optical drive yet. I'm you're going to use the optical drive from um, from that old computer I'm getting, which is going to be next month, part three will be benchmarks and um, overall thoughts and stuff like that and optical drive installation I suppose um, now for the little ones if I just go and play there, that's where I'm going that's where they all go and th these two are power LED plus and minus Goes there. That one goes there. This little orange one is the reset switch. One. Oh, I can't see very well, guys. That one pops in there. This little red one is hard drive LED. That goes there. And this is the power switch. Oh, you can't see that. Uh, this is the power switch. And that goes there. Also, Speaker. I've got a cold today, guys. That's why I sound really awful. Hang on. <coughs> anyway, that's all. All that's in. Um, cable management. I don't really. I couldn't care less for it, to be honest. I, who, who judges the inside of your computer? It, it, yeah, it looks nice. I suppose it keeps the dust away more, but. No biggie. Um, now I'm just going to put the hard drive in. Really, really, really simple. Just slot that in there. And then I'll turn it this way so you can see better. Um, power connector. That goes there. the SATA cable that goes in there and then the other one goes into the motherboard like there let's put the hard drive screws in now I forgot to put the uh, screws in the hard drive, <laughs> so um, I picked it up and the hard drive fell out of the candy. I'm a bit clumsy like that, guys. Anyway, simple as that. Now I'm just going to ram a load of cables I'm not using around the back. Um, for example, I'm just going to hide them. Really. Simple as this, guys. As simple as this. 
shed. Okay, if I put you back up on the desk now. Almost done. So as I said before, part three will be at mid-February-ish. There's going to be a bit of a break now. I'm going to go back to normal videos. I haven't done a vlog since December, so I'll probably have one of them next. I've got two desks now to house um, this. It looks pretty sweet, actually. I'll have a desk for, or whatever, in February after I get everything sorted. And, uh, yeah. Right. That is, uh, in need of a Molex. Easy peasy. Now let's try and hide this somewhere. simply just put the hand screws on and then my PC build will be pretty much complete. If you haven't seen part uh, one yet just go check it out. It's just um, CPU, RAM and uh, unboxings and stuff really. But that's my uh, PC build, basically. Part three, as I said before, <laughs> this will be the third time I've said it, and that'll just be uh, benchmarks and thoughts and whatever, and optical drive. And maybe a card reader. I, I quite fancy getting a card reader for this. It'll be quite, quite handy. But this is it for part two, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.